What's up guys, Andrew aka The Glocktopus here with Glocktopus Reviews and this week I'm bringing you a review on the IC13 Invert Bandolier Carrier. If you guys want to see more cool chest wig or inverted carrier reviews like this, go ahead and like and subscribe to my pages on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Let's get started. Alright guys, I just wanted to show you a couple cool things about this invert bandolier from IC13. Um, I'm going to show you what it's like with reloads uh, with a couple different platforms. This is going to be, the first one is going to be some 5.56 AK hybrid mags on a 5.56 AK hybrid. Um, then I'm gonna show you just a regular AR-15. Um, there's a lot of options that IC-13 has for these pouches on their inverted bandoliers. You can check that, those out over on their website. I'm gonna get into that on the tabletop here in the minute, but I really wanted to show you one of the things that I like about this is how fast you can don this thing. Um, when this is in your car or it's in your house or in your trunk, um, just somewhere you need to get to it quickly, All all it takes to get this thing on is slipping one arm through, comes over your shoulder as such, there's a strap that comes around your back and that's adjustable and then there's a clip that's right here underneath and you clip that and as soon as you've got that on this is attached to you. Um, it comes right around the back, um, really really nice design, really lightweight. Um, it makes for some easy reloads. Um, it's really nice material. I like the multicam black camouflage that they have on this. It looks really, really nice. Um, you may not be able to see how nice it looks here on camera, but in person it looks really, really good. Um, let me show you with the first platform. That's going to be the Foxtrot Mic 102. It's a 5.56 AK hybrid. Um, these mags are from AC Unity. They do have a metal tab right here on the back if you can't see that. Here, let's see if we can get that on camera right here there's a metal tab um, that really doesn't get caught here on the side of the carrier when you're pulling these out so i really like that that it slips out and it's really really good because these are some of these are made for ak mags essentially so let's get this first platform out i'll get this put over with my sling We've got a clear mag here. So as I was saying, guys, I'll back up so you can see a little bit better. Um, say this gun runs dry and you go for a reload, you pull straight down on this and you can go straight into your gun and a reload. Super simple, super intuitive, super fast. Um, not like a regular plate carrier where you're having to yank them out of the top and then come back down and into the magwell. I really like this design. Um, I've never really worn a rig or chest carrier in the inverted position, so this is something new for me. Um, but it's really, really easy. It makes these reloads really, really nice. Like I said, you're just coming right down here into the rig, pulling out and right back in and right back into the fight. Really, really cool design. Um, the way I have mine set up is if you can see here with three pouches for mags here on the front and then I've got another one that's right here on the side in the horizontal position. Um, that's the fourth one. Real easy to get to. Can reach right over, pull it out, put that mag in. Um, as far as tactical reloads and retaining mags, um, these mags with the tab, it's a little bit harder to get them back into the carrier. 
Um, you're going to have to put them in at an angle and then you're kind of going to have to hold on to the top of the carrier and push it in, but you can get them back in. As far as AK mags or AK style mags with a tab, um, this carrier works just fine. All right, guys, moving on to the next platform. We've got an AR-15 style rifle here with the mags loaded in the inverted position. These are gonna be three P mags, um, or actually four P mags from Magpul. Uh, really easy to get in and out of this rig as well as the steel mags, like I was saying. Um, reloads, same thing. Super quick, super intuitive with this system. So if you've gone dry with this weapon, you can go straight down, right back up, load right back into the fight. Same thing, in, load right back in. Really, really, really quick system um, having these mags in that inverted position. Let's get this rig over onto the tabletop so I can give you a really, really in-depth look at it and show you what they have over on their website. All right, guys, let's get into this review on the IC13 Invert Bandolier Carrier. Um, as you can see here on the tabletop, I've got my carrier with my AC Unity 556 um, AK mags. Um, we've got the P mags, as you saw just a moment ago. And we've got my Foxtrot Mike's product 102 um, 12 and a half inch SBR. Um, I want to show you that right here, when you check out their website, um, they've got lots of options for these bandoliers, right? You can select your weapon. Um, they've got all these weapons listed. You can sh select a product type, pouches, uh, mag carriers. You can select the product color. Um, all kinds of pre-built kits, guys. Tourniquet carriers, AK magazine pouches, just the platform itself. You've got NATO, uh, 762 NATO pouches, pistol pouches, scissor pouches, uh, multi-mission pouch. You got pouches for your MP5s, for your M MCXs, MPXs. Um, these rapid tabs that they sell for, uh, for, for right here on connecting on the, uh, the carrier itself. It's kind of like a magnet. Those are all the options that they've got here. But you can go ahead, say you're trying to build the one like this, you can go ahead and select um, the invert carrier, and then you can go ahead and see the prices here, and you can pick the multicam black. And once you do that, it shows you all the angles of the, uh, the carrier itself. It gives you the different pricings and the different weapon systems you can choose. And like I said, there's all the different colors that they offer. Um, check that out guys over on their website. We're going to get a little bit deeper into the overview of this carrier here on the table. Like I said, I chose the multicam black version. It's really, really nice. I would assume this is like a sublimation printing guys that you can see here, but this multi multicam black is pretty dope. Looks really, really nice all the way around, even on the strap, all the pouches looks really really good um, the way i have this set up is i've got a few regular ar-15 pouches and a couple ak mag pouches um, i use them for both i'll show you why um, right now i've got like i said the ac unity mags loaded up in the carrier these mags are a 556 ak mag they have a metal tab here on the back but they do work in the ar-15 pouch and in the ak pouch um, right here you can't see it but this actually is an ak mag pouch i just have this little extension uh, tucked right in to the pouch itself on underneath the bottom but if I push this you can see that this is actually for the AK mags um, really really cool little uh, tab that they have on these so when it pops on the inside it gives you that little bit of extra room for those AK mags sticking out right there at the bottom um, but like I said I kind of pull mine back and I tuck this this tab in there so it looks just like the other ones for the uh, the 
regular AR-15 mag pouches. Like I said, both of these fit in here with no problem. Um, there is the P-Mag by Magpul. That's how that fits right in there. And like I said, the tab right here on this uh, AC Unity. You just stick it in there and give it a tug from the outside right there on that tab and you get these loaded right in with no problem. Um, these do have an ultra quick deployment as you saw in the video where you just throw one arm through this and then get it clipped around you um, with this tab that goes around your back and then clips right here underneath of the carrier itself. Um, with Two AR pouches, a pistol pouch, and a trauma tuck. This weighs about one pound, three ounces. It's a perfect use for like truck guns and uh, just a loadout that you have in the in, in your vehicle. Um, it's good for, for LEOs, for active shooter response kit, something you need to throw on real quick in the car. Um, doesn't take a lot of time. This does have a nice padded multi-layer high strength 500D Cordura material that it's made out of. Um, this pad back here on the back of the rig itself feels really nice. Um, not a lot of rubbing up against your chest. It actually is really comfortable to me. Um, this is configurable with PALS and hook and loop feels. Um, back here, they do have the PAL system as you can see. We'll get that up in there. Um, this is gonna be a Hypalon, kind of a rubber plastic hybrid that is almost like Molly, but I think it's a little better the way it locks up with these tabs here at the bottom. And that's what goes through these holes that are here on the carrier itself. Um, like I said, this is userable, user configurable any way you want it. So this is the way I have mine set up. Um, you can put these anywhere you want. Um, you can put MP, MP5 pouches, trauma pouches, whatever you want. There's a whole section of this webbing that goes across this, uh, this chest rig. And then you've got some Velcro options here in this corner, here in this corner. And then you've got some more PALS over here, some more PALS webbing that runs right down the side of the shoulder strap. And that's where I've got my extra AK mag pouch. And that runs, that's as the one you saw that runs uh, horizontally that I have on my side. Um, other than that, guys, this does include the clips for the PAL systems. They call them malice clips. Um, there are six columns of PALs webbing here on the main field. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six behind each of these pouches that I have mounted. Um, you've got one PALS mounting on each arm. So you've got one here where I've got this and I almost forgot, I've got the one up here on top, which is actually a pistol mag. Um, you can see it's got the mounting system right in there. Let's see if we can zoom in on that. These are the lock tabs on that. Really, really nice guys. I love the way this stuff works and the way this stuff mounts. It's really easy. Um, they give you the instructions in the box on how to put this stuff together. Um, really, really cool. This stuff is made in the USA over in Pennsylvania. It is very compliant. Um, I know a lot of guys like to have their stuff made in the US. Um, this is made in the US. And like I said at the beginning, this camouflage is really, really good looking. This is some of the nicest multicam black that I've seen on a rig. I know that a lot of people have it. It's, some of it's really, really dull. Um, kind of muddy but the way this shows and sticks out i really really like this looks really really good um like i said you can run this in any configuration that you want you can like i said use your 556 ak mags your 556 p mags you can use your 762 by 39 mags on these rigs tourniquet kits um, pistol kits uh, med kits all kinds of stuff but the one big seller for me on this kit is going to be the fact that it makes your reloads 
really, really intuitive by being able just to pull those down and get that right back up into the gun and get right back into the fight as quick as possible. Um, that's one thing with reloads. You want to be able to do that without a hindrance. And I like this rig. Yes, you don't have uh, any armor in this rig, but there are different rigs for different situations like i said guys this is really really good for bug out bags truck guns for those leos that have active shooter situations um, it's completely ambidextrous so if you want to wear this over your right arm or left arm um, you can set that up either way guys um, we're going to go ahead and get this packed up and i'm going to give you my honest rating and review on this ic13 inverted bandolier all right guys i'm going to give you my solid rating and review on this inverted carrier from ic13 my rating is going to be a seven out of eight glocktopus arms um, this carrier is really really nice as you saw in the beginning of the video it makes reloads really really intuitive and a lot easier um, when you're pulling the magazine from the bottom and coming right back up into the mag well at least for me it is it makes it really really nice um, the light weightness of this rig uh, the way it's easy to put this together with the pals unit um, being made here in the USA I know a lot of people are, are concerned about where their products are made but having this one made in the USA is another plus for me um, it knows that you're getting your money going to hard-working people here in the States and it's being made nicely it's not being made in a factory where they just cookie cut these things every day um, the camouflage the way they do the printing on this really really nice as well as you saw on the tabletop all those things together for me guys the quickness that you're able to put this on and don it when it's in your car trunk house wherever when you need it really really nice those are all the reasons why i give this a rating a seven out of eight glocktopus arms if you guys want to know where to pick one of these up go ahead and click the link in description or link in bio that's going to take you over to glocktopusreviews.com or my link tree once you're there you can go ahead and click the link and it's going to take you to their website um, whatever you're looking for you can put these rigs together as we talked about on the tabletop like a diy they've got all kinds of options and colors over there if you guys have any questions or concerns about what you've seen in the video today go ahead and leave those in the comments below and i'll get back to you as soon as possible if you like this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up on instagram and youtube that'll help me out with the algorithm and get my video out to more people if you want to keep watching cool reviews like this go ahead and like and subscribe to my pages on facebook instagram and YouTube. When you're on Instagram and YouTube, make sure you're clicking the notification icon. That's going to be the bell icon up in the corner. That'll get all of my newest content over to you as quick as possible. As always, guys, stay healthy, stay safe. Check you guys later.